Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Eevee. I'm going to be your instructor today for Inspire Arts. So today, we're going to be doing a hamster! Alright, so the first thing we need is a pencil. And then we need a eraser too. We also need our colored pencils, or any kind of color that we're going to use. And a sharpie. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to start by taking my four fingers and putting it on the bottom left of my paper. So once I do that, I'm going to make a dot on top. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to take my right hand, put my four fingers at the bottom right of my paper, and then make a dot above it. So now you see that we have two dots right across from our page. So I'm going to connect those two dots with a straight line. So I'm going to go across as straight as possible. And there we have it. Okay, so our next step is to make a big circle right in the middle of our paper. So I'm drawing the circle, but I'm going to put a little bit under the line right here. So about two fingers, two fingers in length. There we go. So here's my circle. And it's about two fingers in length at the bottom. So now I can erase the extra line that's inside my circle. So go ahead and do that really quick. Perfect. You guys are doing great. Okay, so now I'm going to take the next biggest shape and draw it in. And my next shape is going to be another circle, but this one's going to be a little bit smaller. And I'm going to draw it on the top left of my circle. There we go. So now we have a smaller circle on top, and this is going to be the head of our hamster. So go ahead and erase that extra line in there so we know our two big shapes. Okay, then next up, we are going to be drawing the ears. So I'm going to draw two more smaller circles. Just half of them, half of a circle, on both sides of our head. So we're going to do that. And a little extra lines that are inside our ears, we're going to erase that as well. So go ahead and grab your eraser, and then we'll clean up our hamster a little bit. Alright, this is looking very nice. You guys are doing great. Thank you for following along with me. Okay, so the next step is we are going to be drawing. We're going to be drawing the legs. Okay, so we're going to make a curve outside of our circle. Alright, just move out a little bit right there. Perfect. And then I'm going to make another oval right outside of that. And that's going to be our foot. And look at that, a little foot from our hamster. Very nice. It looks super cute. Okay, next up, we're going to do the same thing for the other side, just for the foot. So at the edge of the circle, I'm just going to make another oval right there. And this one's going to be facing forward. Okay? And then I'm going to add these two lines to make our toes for our hamster. There we go. Okay, we are almost done with our hamster. So our next step is, we are going to make the tiny little arms. So here's what I'm going to do. At the bottom of our head, I'm going to make a curved line. So think of it as a backward C shape. And then I'm going to close it off with zigzags. See that? Backward C, and then zigzag. So at the bottom of my shape right here, I'm going to make a curved line. 
So I bring it back up. There we go. And that is our hamster's arms. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. So this one's gonna be a regular C. And then I'm gonna do a zigzags going down and then connecting them. All right. So after that, I'm gonna just do a curve from the bottom to the top and I'm gonna round it out a little bit. And see that we have a little bit of extra lines in there so we can erase that as well. Just clean it up to make it all neat and tidy. I'm just gonna draw over it again. There we go. All right, thank you artist for following along. It's all looking good. I'm super happy with what I'm seeing so far. Okay, let's finish it up and give him a seed to eat. So we're gonna put in a sunflower seed and it's really simple. All I have to do is just make a curve at the bottom of our hands, just like this. There you go. So now I'm gonna make the mouth for our hamster and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a line straight down and make two J shapes. One's going to be a regular J, and one's going to be backwards. See that? Two J's. Okay, next up is I'm going to make the nostrils of our hamster, and it's just two V shapes above our mouth. Just like that. Alrighty, artists, we're almost done. So next up is two big circles for the hamster's eyes. Give me two big cute circles. And then I'm gonna draw two smaller circles. These are gonna be the highlights for our hamster. So I'm gonna put mine on the top right. There we go. And we are finished with our hamster's face. So I'm gonna do a little bit extra and I'm gonna erase the lines that are under my ear. So I'm just gonna erase some of that right here. Just to show that it's part of the head. There we go, and it looks super clean. And there's our hamster. But we're not done yet, so let's give him a pile of seeds. That way he could be really happy and full with all the food he's eating. So what I'd like to do is make giant craggly lines from the top of my page. And then I'm just gonna go down all the way to the bottom. So it doesn't have to be like mine but give yourself a little variety and make uh, different kinds of shapes. So I'm gonna make all these craggly lines from both sides of my paper. From the top of my paper, all the way to the bottom. And now I see these extra lines right here. I'm just gonna erase that as well. Because our line is behind the pile of seeds. Okay, now it's all cleaned up. So what I'm going to do is draw a little bit of the extra seeds in there. So I'm going to do upside down V's and a little bit of zigzags on the bottom. Just like that. Maybe I'll draw some on the outside. There we go. About three to four seeds. There we go. So now we're done with our pencil lines. So our next step is to grab our Sharpie. So everything that we've done in pencil, we are going to trace over with a Sharpie. So you could start anywhere you want. For me, I'm going to start on the bottom of where the pile of seeds are. And I'm just going to carefully draw over the pencil lines. So go ahead and take your time. If you need to pause, go ahead. There we go. Then I'll start on my other one right here. So 
So I'm carefully drawing over my hamster, tracing over all the pencils I can. Here's the feet. Now the arms. And the little seed. Okay, so here I'm at the face. Trace over the eyes. And that looks so good. It looks so cute already. So I'm gonna color in the inside of my hamster's eyes black, but I'm gonna leave that tiny circle on the top right as the highlight. There we go. Ooh, very cute. I'm loving the cute eyes on my hamster. Okay, so now, don't forget the small tiny lines that we haven't gotten to yet, just like the nose right here, and the feet. Alright, perfect. You guys are doing such a great job with your hamsters. Okay, so now it's time to do some cleanup. Let's go grab our eraser again. And we are going to go over the Sharpie lines, just to erase those extra pencil lines that we haven't gotten. Or are sticking out. There we go. Keep up the great work. You're doing an amazing job. Keep it up. And there you have it. Our page is clean.